All right, so what if you feel down? What do you do when you feel down? Well, one thing that I know is a lot of people when they feel down, they actually uh, get overly hard on themselves and they feel even worse and they can end up wallowing around in their misery. But I would say this, if you start to feel down, so every time there's a downturn, just ask yourself, what am I actually saying to myself? What are the thoughts that are going through my head? Because what I find with people is often there's some recurring lines, about four or five sentences or, or particular things that, that they say to themselves. They're voices in the head, voices picked up at some point in their upbringing, and, but now they keep replaying this message. And it will be things like, oh, there I go again, you know, stuffing up, I've made a mistake, Gee, I'm hopeless, I'm useless, oh, this isn't going to work out, uh, I'll never be able to do this, I'm going to fail at this, um, those sort of uh, thoughts. Um, so anyway, if you happen to feel down, as I say, rather than getting terribly upset by it, listen to those thoughts and write them down, what your specific sentences are. Later on, you can look at those particular lines um, and, in, and you, most of the time you can figure out where they came from. I can ask people, when you get that thought, oh, I'm useless, where does that thought come from? You weren't born with that thought. A little baby, when they're happily playing around the place, doesn't get this thought, I'm useless. They're not even really thinking about other people. They're just doing what they want to do. So where does that thought come from? And most of the time people can say, yeah, I know where it came from. It came from things that my father used to say to me, as an example, something like that. So bit by bit, by recording all this stuff down, you can get aware of this, these negative forces in your head. And it almost has a voice. It ha almost has a presence, um, a particular feeling about it, usually quite an oppressive, heavy, dark sort of feeling. Uh, but the important thing with all of this is to write it down. If you don't write any of this down, if you don't write down the positive clues as to who you are and the negative thoughts of this dark voice in the back of your head, then you stay like the mixed up person with the mixed bag concept, with everything uh, tied up together so that you really can't get control of your life. So once you start writing it down and uh, keep a, a notepad on you every day, um, and every time you get either a positive move upwards or a negative move downwards, clue into what's going on in your mind and write down the vital aspects of it. And if you just keep recording the information bit by bit, a picture starts to become clear you gradually get the picture of your true self. And you gradually get a picture of this negative dark side with its characteristics as well. Once you've got that, then you can get a much better sense of yes, this is me. This negative dark side's not me, but I understand how it's got into my way of thinking. I wasn't born with it, so I'm not gonna let it dictate and control my life. I'm gonna get stronger at keeping it to the side connecting with my true self as to who I really am, because this is the part of me that's going to be moving forward to the future. Okay, so you can use the positive centered psychology to look at your past and learn a lot of important things about yourself. And then you can also look at your day-to-day -day life and learn how your mind responds to the various events and things that happen to you, become more aware of your emotions and feelings, and again, get to know yourself much better. Now, are you ready to look towards the future? Because the human mind also likes to look at the future. These days a lot of people say, oh, you need to be in the present. But I think the human mind likes to look at the past because it wants to understand why. It wants to understand why you behave the way you do. It wants to understand why other people do what they do. Uh, the human mind does, in fact, spends most of the time involved in what's happening in the daytime. But it also wants to look at the future. Why do we worry, for instance? We worry because our mind is always thinking ahead. So it's important to get your mind focused right when you look towards the future. Now often I find when people come in for counselling that they have a set of problems and we're basically taught that uh, pretty quickly we need to get people to work out, well, what's your goal? Um, even at the first consultation, what's your goal? I've pretty much given up on that just uh, for the time being because I think it actually takes people a bit of time. Um, if someone's in the mixed up uh, concept of the way they're viewing themselves, often their goals will be inappropriate. It takes time to get to know them better, it takes time for them to get to know themselves. Your future goals in life could, should come from this positive core of who you are. 
many people's goals actually come from various negative thoughts in their head. They're things like, yes, I should do this, or I, I ought to be doing more of that, or I must, I must do perhaps this particular career. Things that often our, our parents or society, all these outside factors, things from TV, uh, things happening in the media, all these thoughts that get into your head and tell you what you should do, how you should behave. Many people, their future goals are based around that. Now, if you spend your life trying to do things from this outer part of you, generally you'll end up feeling like a fish out of water. Why? Because these sort of attributes aren't really part of your core makeup anyway. This is who you are. The only way forward is to look towards the future is to have it coming from this side of you. So, in order to look towards the future and come up with some meaningful goals, you, you do first of all need to examine your past and your present to learn about who you are. Once you've got a number of, uh, a lot of information about yourself, then when you put all those factors together, then you get a bit of a picture as to who you are and what you might therefore like to do in the future. This is very important when you're looking at careers, for instance. If someone can look back on all the, the subjects they did at school, all the things they've ever been interested in, or perhaps when they look at a, a job section in a newspaper, all the particular aspects of particular jobs that make them feel, yes, gee, this looks interesting or that looks exciting, all put all those factors together and then you can get a good picture of the type of career that might suit you. Now, um, another point is when you're looking to the future, it's no good having your life just based around setting yourself goals and then flogging yourself to try and reach those goals uh, in the hope that when you reach them that you'll feel good because you've been successful. A lot of people who come from the mixed bag concept, they are a little confused in themselves and they think, well, if I can achieve a big goal, then this will give substance to, to who I am. People will be impressed by that. People will think that's good. And so they'll flog themselves on towards that goal um, but it's a very stressful thing and if they should ever fail or not reach their goal then of course they're uh, completely distressed by that. Uh, in fact the whole life becomes quite a stressful event trying to reach these uh, goals. When they do reach the goal they get a few moments of bliss but it doesn't last for very long. Then they have to find another goal to head towards. For me happiness is about knowing who you are. It's about knowing your true self. And then, and this is the important thing, the second part of it is you then have to be doing the things that feel right for you. Happiness, most people when you look at the, the happiest times of your life, it's when you're actually doing something that actually feels right for you and you get this earthy pleasure coming from inside of you. Um, it doesn't really matter often whether you're a big success at it or whether other people think you're fantastic for what you've done. It's more something that comes from within you. So. These are some of the factors that I think are important when you're looking towards the future. You want to know yourself well and have a plan of the direction that you want to go in. It doesn't have to be a fixed goal, but I think it is natural to have a rough idea of the sort of direction, the sort of path that you want to follow. And if you use the positive centered psychology model, then I think you'll be quite comfortable in yourself and uh, you'll find that life will be uh, easier and happier and funnily enough, at the end of the day, you will be more successful as well. Okay, to summarize in the way that we look at the future, if you have a, a goal or a, an idea or something that you feel you, you might like to work towards, then you just need to ask yourself, is this something that suits me? Is this something that suits the person that I truly am? Or is this in fact something that I'm feeling that I ought to do or I should do?